What is going on, everybody? Bobby Five with my man, Eric Sheets Haber. We are going to be talking a little NBA today, coming off a pretty good NBA night as well as a much better baseball night, but a, a good NBA night. I had a, a shot at the shoot around. I played five entries in the $20, and I, I was right there at the end. I uh, needed a few more minutes out of that Memphis uh, jazz situation. Obviously, the blowout didn't quite happen, um, so I was a little screwed there. But we have a, a really interesting <laughs> – well, I think it's interesting because I'm a Laker fan. It's an interesting two game slate and I know what I'm going to do. And it's going to, it's going to be interesting to talk about. Do you have any overall thoughts on this slate before we uh, jump into it? Yeah. Um, do I have any overall? Like anybody you, you're, you're looking at, like anybody that. Anybody yeah. Looking yeah. At? So I, so I do uh, a couple of things. Number one is that we're definitely going to be playing um, CJ McCollum and not Lillard. The second thing is that, uh, if Anthony Davis does not play, um, then I think LeBron is like beyond the lock. And I think that if Anthony Davis does play, I think LeBron Davis, LeBron James is equally a lock. I completely um, agree with both of those statements. Yeah. So that's, 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 that's my overarching, uh, conclusion of this, of this two game slate. And I think that, um, uh, I think that the Portland Denver game could be a uh, could could be kind of like a, a yawner. Uh, I don't know exactly how it's going to work out, but I mean you, that that game is it's very tough to recover from from both sides um, on only one day's rest. So I, I do feel as though that you'll get some inefficiencies uh, in that game. I think that the majority of the I think that um, I don't know. I, I I prefer to have more. I don't want to say exposure. It's only two games slate, right? You got to play from from everything. But I, I think it is going to be like the LeBron show tonight. Um, you know, we're, we'll, we'll, I'll be. You know, I, I didn't. You know, you were on it last time, and they just got run out of the building. What are you going to do? Yeah, um, yeah. But I think that uh, again, regardless of whether the only the only thing that LeBron that, that Davis playing will do was maybe reduce LeBron's ownership from ninety five percent to seventy five percent. I don't think he's going to be as high owned as you do. Oh, fine by me. I'll, I'll be I'll be over regardless. I mean, it's it's just I looked at the, the builds and stuff, and it's 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 interesting because even he just versus Dame alone is a tough conversation. Um, the 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 thing with LeBron, I just want to say, like, we'll get into that game, but sheets. Well, here, let me let, let me pull your screen up here. But um, oh, yeah. LeBron is a uh, he's definitely not playing like himself. He was feeling he did what he you know he did his thing last game that sort of. You know, Bill Simmons read this 12 times. It basically predicted exactly what would happen. He's going to stay from the outside, shoot jumpers, uh, try to get hot from outside early on, or, or just set everybody up and get everybody else involved because he, he's not full go for this. And he wants to stay, you know, he, he hopes hope, if they were starting the, if it was a close game, you would have seen him try and take over in the second half. Um, all of those things in a must win. I'm just going to side with LeBron and all the time here, even though I, I don't. I know he's not right, but Luca wasn't right. And look what he just did last night. Um, so sometimes not a player not being healthy when they're, it almost makes them, they're so necessary in these important games. It almost doesn't even really matter to be honest. Um, so that's where I'm at with that. All right. On the, in the Denver Portland game, let's start with the Denver side. Uh, for, I like Portland to win this game. Um, I think this game, I, I've thought for a long time, the series would go six or seven. And I, I said, I actually had, had Port, uh, Denver in seven, but I thought, I thought maybe six, um, but the way the series is playing, it just feels like this is the game Portland, I don't want to say beats them down, but you're going to see a double digit lead, I think, for a good portion of the game from Portland uh, after the second quarter. That's just my prediction. And what that means is, look, Monty Morris is got all of the, the key minutes and they won the game. So you're going to get a lot more Monte Morris than the, what is he projected for right now? Uh, actually, they, 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 they have to project in 29 minutes. It is interesting that Compazzo is now like going to be completely left out. And I, I get it. I mean, like they, they favored Morris. They needed the offense, all that stuff. He was doing a great job out there. It could switch back. If, if Compazzo was cheap, if they were like similarly priced, I would be saying, hey, maybe Compazzo is kind of an interesting pivot off of people playing Morris. Or, um, But right now, I, I think that you're sticking with, you know, the obvious guys. Jokic is the one I'm, I'm going to fade. Um Austin Rivers is playing so many. I mean, he's, he's just going to play every minute. He played 47 minutes in the last game. I mean, I know it was double overtime, but still. And the production per minute sucks, but there's always a heat check ability. I prefer Morris to Rivers 
and I think that'll get, he'll be a little bit lower owned. I like both of them. And I, uh, I think the chalk is going to be Michael Porter Jr. I love Michael Porter Jr. in these kind of spots against, I mean, against Portland, but the truth is he hasn't really, we've got in this series, we've got a sample of now five games or five, yeah, five games and only once in the last game where he shot 10 of 13, did he really get there for us? Um, and I was playing him the whole, most of the time. Um, yeah, there was a blowout and all that stuff. But I think if there was a spot to try to fade a guy like he was going to be 60 plus percent owned like this, maybe even higher. Um, this seems like a spot, but it's, it does feel weird to say, OK, well, I don't want to play Jokic or Porter. So I probably end up with some Porter almost by accident. But I, I also just might shift over and just stick with Aaron Gordon. Um, I don't want to get I, I don't want to get too. I mean, I have to get crazy off the board, but it, it does feel a little bit odd right not to have one of Jokic or Porter because the odds are pretty good that one of them smashes, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> but maybe there's a way to find a way to do it because you're going to have 90% of lineups having at least one of those guys. So, or Is Porter eight, and who? Porter and Jokic. Yeah, I, I could fade them both. I mean, yeah, so that's that's what I'm proposing, and then maybe playing a little bit of a Portland blowout angle, which would include um, C.J. McCollum, who you mentioned as being potentially a better play than Lillard. If there is a blowout angle, it's partially probably because McCollum gets hot. Most of Lillard's crazy heat stuff is end of games, end of when they need him, when they're down 25. All those situations are great for Lillard. McCollum is great when they're up by 15 because – you're going to see him, you know, trying to stretch it out. They're going to give Lillard his actual a couple minutes rest here and there. And also it'll be a little bit of the, my turn, your turn will go to McCollum. If he's hot, I've said for a long time, he's going to score 40 real life points in one game in this series. Um, so, and he hasn't done it yet. So tonight is my, my bet for it. <laughs> uh, I also think Norman Powell, uh, again, fits sort of that same sort of thing. He's playing a million minutes. He had an absolutely awful, fantasy game in, in game five, a great game in game four. Uh, again, that suits the blowout thing a little bit for me, or sorry, not the blowout thing, um, but, he, but he suits it because he'll be, he'll, it would be the minutes they give Dane rest and maybe they keep letting these guys extend it is sort of the way I'm looking at it. A blowout, not just meaning the guys aren't going to be on the court at the end. I'm talking about how the game will actually flow. And uh, so those guys are, are maybe instead of Lillard, but I do like Lillard a lot and I'm not seeing him as being crazy high owned and I, you know, must win game at home with Damian Lillard. I'm pretty much, you know, if you can get Lillard and LeBron, those would be my two favorite spend ups. At the same time, I don't mind just pivoting over to McCollum and uh, Powell. I, Covington and, and Carmelo are both good plays. Um, but I don't know if Car, I don't know why Carmelo, I mean, it's early ownership projections, but they're a little too high for me to want to wanna roster that. I know we need value, but uh, Covington would be the preferred guy, obviously. I know he's a little more expensive. I think the sneaky play and the one that maybe wins somebody a tournament is an Anthony Simons. Um, if they do have that run with the second unit, again, Simons could be on the court with these guys. And if he's playing, if he, if he just, if you're just playing for him to get hot for them to keep extending leads and then for him to get the same thing happen in the third quarter. And if he plays really well, maybe he plays the rest of the game after his rotation in the third, that's, that's your hope and your prayer if you're playing Simons. But the truth is, even if you don't, what if he just plays 20, 16, 18, good minutes and put you up 20 fantasy points. That's going to be plenty good enough at 3K. So he is my sneaky play. Yeah, I'll tell you, the more I think about this, the only, there, there are four guys that I'm, that I'm playing and, and, they're, and I, I can do this. I can put a core, right? And, yeah. and this is just on my board. It's, it's, it's going to be Paul and Booker. I'm going to play them together. Um, and, and, and there's LeBron and then there's CJ McCollum. Everything else, I'll just, you know, I'll probably just cheap out, whatever. And just, I don't know how I'm actually going to make it work. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to end up fading, fading Porter, fading Jokic. No idea how it's going to work out, but a two-game slate, I'm just going to deal with it. Maybe a Simons, like you said. Maybe somebody like a Simons or uh, what's Carmelo's price, for example? Carme Carmelo. He's only 4,200. You know what I mean? Like, these are the guys I'll, I'm just going to just be be shuffling. I think, I think this is my – core four that I'm going to just play and uh and I'll be open I'll be open anything you know what I mean uh Kuzma um you know what I mean as we go into the game we'll, we'll talk about all this but but uh, I I I don't really you know 
look, I'm sure Jokic is going to score 70 fantasy points, whatever it is. I'm sure that Michael Porter Jr. could have a good game, but this is, I'm just, I'm just more confident in, in that Phoenix LA thing. Um, so I want to make sure I have that before worrying about, about everything else. Fair enough. Um, it, along with those lines though, you might want to include a guy like Simons as a part of the way you get different. Cause that, I think that's what I, I just said. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Simons for sure. I, I'm so sorry. I didn't hear you. I, I'm sorry. I missed that. Yeah. Um, I mean, like I said, but these other spots here, for example, like, like, and I'll take anything, you know what I mean? I'll play Simons, I'll play Kuzma, I'll play, you know, whatever. All the, a lot of four, 4,800 guys are going to look terrible, whatever. Um, I, I wish people were going to actually be scared off of Nurkic because the problem is he's going to be a bazillion percent owned because of the way the builds are going to go. Dude, and Cam Johnson had a freaking, basically was a DNP coach decision until that game was over. That was a little surprising to me. He played in the first half. You sure? Positive. I remember okay. him coming in. Okay. Um, he may have missed a rotation or done something wrong and gotten pulled. Okay. That's always a risk, but I didn't notice anything out of the ordinary because they were just okay. getting, I just, I just noticed them getting absolutely mobbed by this team. Okay. <laughs> and, and Phoenix played their starters like longer and early on, except for Paul, because they wanted to just put the hammer down. You could tell. Um, the, uh, the, the, I, I, Nurkic is going to be an interesting decision by the end of the day, because I think that he's going to have a, a big game here. I, I think that he's just going to stop trying to, He's going to stop. I think they're, you know, it's been, it's been all out there in the media. They're going to try and stop um, committing fouls on anyone, but Jokic <laughs> basically, because he keeps going and trying to help block dunks and stuff. And that's how he fouled out of the game in 24 minutes with a lot of time left to go. Uh, I just think he's going to play more minutes tonight. I don't think he's going to, I'll give him 30 plus minutes before he fouls out. And, and, I, and he's obviously being, you know, he has the upside to play like 40 plus minutes if, if he's, if he's, well, okay, 40-ish minutes if he doesn't fa- get in foul trouble, which is probably going to happen. But if it doesn't, he's probably going to smash. So he's another one that we're. I'm trying to find a way to fade. All right. Simons, is, Simons is 3K. Yeah. Has Taylor Horton Tucker played at all in the playoffs? He, I think he played the other night when they were down 5,000 oh, okay. points. Um, I don't think this is the spot you're going to see a Thalen Horton Tucker uh, thing unless they try to do something different if there's no ad that's the only way i could see it happening and I, you know what that's on the table uh I, by the way i want oh i want to say was one last thing so i said i, I complained you know, i didn't complain I, I said i did well last night i did really well had i not made the decisions i made early on which was to play robin lopez or gafford in every lineup which i would obviously not have done if i knew boban was going to be starting and had i started boban i probably went 100k last night it's weird oh, really even in the playoffs yeah, because I had Robin Lopez was in my best lineup. Um, he had 11 fantasy points. And even in the playoffs, you still are going to get late changes to lineups for teams that have struggled the past couple of games. Uh, it's not going to happen for Phoenix. <laughs> so on the Phoenix side, it's Chris Paul. Uh, I don't really – it's hard to fade him for me. But I can just say, you know, obviously limited. Again, what I said before, I mean, they went on their crazy run with campaign uh, – Campaign in real life has been the Laker killer in this series. They actually had to rest campaign at the end of the game because they, they were just up too much. Uh, he, he would have played, you know, 30 minutes in a normal blowout game where it was 20 points or something in a game like instead he ended up at 18 minutes because it was just too big of a thing. That's how big campaign has been. Um, so uh, Crowder, obviously a strong play here. Uh, obviously Booker. I do think that they will, the Lakers are a good defensive team and will make adjustments and try to guard Booker. The only problem I've noticed is it doesn't seem to matter that much unless Anthony Davis no. is on the court. Anthony Davis does change this team defensively. And the weird part is Drummond was actually playing well the other night, but I just know that the Lakers are in massive, massive trouble defensively, especially if uh, Drummond's on the court versus Anthony Davis or Mark Gasol. Um, so I would, I would rate it, rate Paul ahead of Booker. They're both going to be extremely popular. Uh, I would have Bridges in the mix and I would put Crowder above Bridges uh, personally. So uh, Bridges was terrific the other night, by the way, but LeBron wasn't playing. I'm going to attack you LeBron stuff where Bridges is only going to be that. The guy who's going to be low owned who I have interest in here is, is uh, DeAndre Ayton. I think that Ayton over Nurkic are already getting different and you get a guy in the teen percentage ownership instead of the whatever, I think you're in good shape. So I, I do like DeAndre Ayton here. Um, and I think Cam Johnson should absolutely be in the mix uh, for everybody. Well, I want I want to pull this up for just a second. Um, yeah, you're right. Cam Johnson, you, could, I, I, you know, you, the only reason I thought he didn't play is because I know he had zero fantasy points. Yeah, in the first half. Yeah. Okay. But he ended up. I mean, he ended up actually playing okay. But um, the uh, yeah. So 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 Aiton's my way of, tr- of trying to play Aiton over 
uh, the chalkier, um, they're both going to have ownership, but Aiton will be like probably no more than 20%. And Nurkic will probably be, I'm guessing, fit near 50. So you're getting for 400 more, you're getting some serious ownership leverage. And by the way, Aiton's average more fantasy points per game in this series than, than, uh, yeah, than Nurkic has. So all of those things make me want to lean that way. On the Lakers side, uh, LeBron is going to be, you know, I don't know how not to play a lineup with LeBron today. Personally, uh, obviously there's plenty of ways you can do it. And he's actually not going to be as crazy. I own because of all the, you know, the options and that it's hard to get these guys in 80. <laughs> I don't mind if you want to try and take a different route, really play the blood angle in the first game and play both LeBron and AD here and assume AD plays. I think he'll play. Um, that's where I'm leaning. I think Marcus soul is incredibly sneaky. Um, Another guy who I've got as a did he get minutes last time? Yeah, yeah, we got minutes, but then they got blown out. No, 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 I know. Split. Like they were down, you know. So, so he played ten minutes in the game, but that's uh-huh. because they're not going to play him in minutes. But he played twenty three in the previous game that they won. Um, oh no, they lost that one. Um, but he, you know, he put up thirty five fantasy points. They, they may shift back to Gasol. Whether Davis plays or not, you might see. I think if Davis does play, you'll see Davis more at the five this in this game. But I think that uh, I do think Gasol is going to end up getting some more run ahead of Drummond just because of the way things have gone with Drummond on the court. It's been bad with both of them on the court, to be honest with you, the last couple of games. But uh, I do think overall, the soul makes you a better defensive team. And it's not like Phoenix is a place at a blazing pace or anything like that. Uh, if there is no Davis, uh, we can shift right back over to Kuzma, Schroeder. I have no problem with either of them. I don't have a problem with Schroeder anyway, by the way. Um, in real, well, I do in real life, but not in, not in this game. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's, he had a fantastic game his last game. Fantastic game. 0 for 9. <laughs> Oh God. He also takes shots at the weirdest times. I mean, anyway, um, but I, I, I would expect in these kind of close out situations that you'd see more the guys they trust and that's KCP and Caruso. Um, so the Wesley Matthews minutes getting, you know, 15 minutes a game, that's got to stop. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 25 and 22 in the last two games. I, I think the Lakers fans know it has to stop. Um, and then again, if Markeith Morris, if Davis is out, Markeith Morris, I would consider to be, uh, medium priority play, but they were so bad with him last time. It's hard to imagine they start him alongside these guys. So uh, this is a long way of saying, I think it's LeBron Caruso KCP um, as my priorities Davis as my get different play um, with Gasol. Cheats, what do you got? Yeah. I mean, this, this is where I'm at. <laughs> I got Paul Booker and James, uh, but uh I, I guess Kuzma's going to be another one of those $4,800 guys, and I'm just kind of shuffling in. Um, yeah, he's always got upside, I guess. Kuzma. Yeah, we haven't seen it yet, but we'll, we'll – Caruso. That's why it's upside. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, no, no. Uh-huh. Um, I always like Caruso. Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe Matthew Davis plays. is supposed to play Anthony Davis. I think that that's a uh, – I, I think that that's a good – I think there's a you good – You play both those? Let me just see. Oh, oh, of course you can. It's a two-game slate. No, no, no. I don't mean that, oh, that financially. I yeah. say, can you? You play yeah, those. Sure. Why yeah. Not? You, get, you get these other, there's other nonsense in, but the Caruso, well, Paul, Caruso and KCP, the minutes projection on them is just wrong. Okay. Like there's going to, they're going to find a way to have those guys in the court with LeBron and AD for important possessions in general. So just remember that Caruso could play 28 minutes tonight. Um, KCP. What about, what about Drummond? Could play 30 no. minutes tonight. KCP will be popular, but Caruso won't be, but I don't think both will be popular. Um, Drummond, again, this is, we're, we're flirting with disaster. We're, we're, we're doing, the, in my opinion, if you're playing Drummond, we're going about this the wrong way. Maybe it just okay. has a fluky game and he's cheap enough. Sure, he could end up in lineups because just the upside and, and what, he, what he can do while he's on the court. Obviously, if Anthony Davis is out, huge boost. But I can't imagine in a closeout game that they're not going to put what they feel is their best foot forward. The weird part is I don't think they know what that is, but assuming Davis is in the lineup, the Lakers numbers with Davis at the five over the last two years are just so much better than everybody in basketball, any other lineup in basketball. You'd, Im- you'd imagine that for a game six, a must win at home, you're going to, you're going to play Anthony Davis, at the five, and that'll fade out guys like Drummond. Uh, at the same time, I also think you'll see moments with Davis and then Gasol at the five. So that's, that's sort of the way I'm trying to look at how they'll, they'll approach this. But I do think Caruso gets more minutes tonight, uh, especially if they're in some sort of trouble. And I think that KCP gets all the minutes he can handle. 
I, I think 31 is, is the absolute minimum minutes you'll see for KCP tonight. And I think Kuzma, Kuzma, Drummond have the risk of being faded a lot out of the, out of the game. Man, I'll, 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 play, uh, I'll play 20 of these. I'll play 20. 20 what? I'll play 20 lineups in the $20. I'll, I'll go for it. Yeah, let's do it. Why not try to try to two games? Yeah. Two games. Last one. Oh, actually, we could get a bigger slate once these once these games clinch, right? We could get, we could end up with a three game slate. Yeah, I think okay. we. I don't know what they're going to plan to do yet, but we could end up with one. But okay. Um, but this is going to be one I'm watching intently. Obviously, I'm a Laker fan. It's. It, I know I've said it a million times. I'm not as attached to this team. But usually, you'd see me going crazy. If this was a Kobe team. I'd be like nervous right now. Um, but I do obviously love my team, and I want them to win. And. Uh, they are in real trouble. This is not a joke. They could, <laughs> unless LeBron takes over, they're going to have a really, really hard time or if they get really hot from three. Anyway, guys, um, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, that certainly helped me know what I want to do on this slate. We will be back with you today. Sheets right at six Eastern. Or we uh, Yes, I believe so. We could do six 30 if you want to. We don't need to go up to lock for the NBA. It's because that's not till eight. Okay. So, so yeah. We, but, but okay. still, I think, to, to get the I think I think actually six is better for me. Okay, let's do six then. Okay. All right, six it is, guys. We'll see you uh, this evening, and good luck to everyone out there. We'll see the top leaderboards. All right.